I have two momentum carts balanced here on a long track. Unfortunately, I don't think you can see the ends of the track, but I've never done this in class before because in class you can't get the students to wait this long for you to do a demonstration. Uh, but anyway, it's balanced, which pretty much surprises me. Um, let's see then if I can, I'm gonna pop these two carts apart and watch what happens. Now, what you hopefully saw is that the carts moved apart the same speed, they're the same mass, and the tracks stayed level. So because if they're the same mass, then they move the same, the same acceleration, same mass, they move the same distance in the same amount of time until one of them gets to the end of the ramp before the other, because it, you know, it's not exactly in the center because I don't know if the ramp is perfect. And then it hits the end, there's boxes on either end, and it comes back and the thing is unbalanced. Now let's see if I can do this with, uh, with different masses, so one is heavier than the other. Once again, once again, I'm gonna say, wow, uh, I actually got it balanced. So let's watch what happens. This one is twice as heavy. The blue one is twice as heavy as the red one. So F equals MA, same, same uh, force on both masses. We expect the red one to go twice as fast as the blue one. Let's see if that pans out. Notice the system and notice that the, that the system stayed balanced until the red one got to the end, in which case then the balloon was able to go a little bit farther and it was able to uh, drop down, causing the system to be uh, unbalanced. So once again, what this is proving is that in conservation of momentum with explosions, etc., that the center of mass stays in the same spot. Now in the books, they show how if you have a hammer or something and you throw it and you were able to watch the center of mass of the object, it would be a parabola. Well, in this case, the center of mass was right there. It was, in the, it was in the center. Then when he exploded, they moved out. Well, when they were equal masses, they moved at equal distances. And if they're equal distances, they provide equal torques. Well, in this case, the, the larger object is going uh, less fast. So at any given time, the red one has gone twice as far as the blue one. And since torque is force times distance, perpendicular distance, twice as far, sorry, twice as far and half the mass is the same torque as half as far, twice the mass or twice the force. And the moment that the center of mass stays the same. This is true in conservation of momentum because all of the forces are internal forces, meaning that the center of mass of the system cannot move with, in, unless there's an exterior force. Okay, this monstrosity that I built here is just a movable ramp. So notice it's easy to move and so forth. Uh, the reason is I've got a couple of the momentum carts underneath it. And then just so I didn't have to do anything permanent, although since I do this demonstration every year, probably should make something permanent. Just, you know, binder clips everywhere. Welcome to binder clip physics. Should do that. Probably already someone has. Anyway, I have a rolling object here. I'm going to roll it down this ramp and let's see what the ramp does. Okay. Go. Once again, do that again. Hope it'll stay together one more time as that large object smacks into the stuff at the bottom. Okay. Once again. Notice.
the object moves down the ramp and the ramp moves backwards. If you were to draw a force diagram, you'd be able to see that in order for it to move that way, there has to be a force pushing that way. By Newton's third law, the object has to push back on it. And because this is movable, it moves backwards. Or, as we're doing now in conservation of momentum, uh, this would be conservation of, or sorry, the center of mass stays in the same spot. One object moves that direction, one object moves this way. Now, I don't know if I can do this with a lighter object and see how it just hardly moves at all. Um, I have a piece of tape here. No, that's got something on it. Let's see if this works right here. We'll put a piece of tape, which is significantly lighter, and let's see what happens. Notice it did move backwards, but not as much because there's not as much mass moving that direction. It doesn't require as much force or wherever the center of mass was beforehand because a lighter mass is moving this way, this, the larger mass, the carts and the ramp don't have to move as far.